Hello and welcome to this thrifted upcycle. I'm Danny Walker. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you like content like this, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. In this episode, I'll teach you how I took this 90s dress and thrifted it into something a lot more fun. This upcycle was inspired by this look that I found on Style Pantry's Instagram, and I wanted to do something really similar to this, but to a dress instead. As you can see, the dress was really big. So the first thing I had to do was take it in and I decided to do this by cutting the side seams wide open. I used a seam ripper to open the entire side of this dress. All right, so after I cut it, then I just continued to pin the sides because there's a few layers and I didn't want things moving around when I sewed them, I had to pin this. Pinning the dress horizontally is going to make it a lot easier to sew over. Then I just re-measured to make sure that I was taking out the appropriate amount. And I took out the amount equally from the top to the bottom, so I just had to take a quick measurement to check that. After I was done, this was the finished product, but my hem was a little bit uneven. So what I did was I just opened this back up a little bit. After opening up all of the seams on this hem, I readjusted the hem so it lined up perfectly. This is something that was a really, really tiny detail, but it's just something that I wanted to do. So I just ironed down that pleat and I create this really nice clean hem. When they match, I went back over it and I sewed it. So after that, I wanted to make sure that everything laid really nice and flat. So I ironed down the excess fabric that was inside of the dress. Now this is a trim that I found that I loved. I thought it was really fun. It's a sort of stretchy mini accordion pleat ruffled trim, lots of details there. So I just sewed down the end of it so that it wasn't going to fray and I used it to cover the original buttons in the back. Now I'm using this really easy trick to create an evenly ruffled top. What I'm doing is just using a fork and as you can see, all I did was use that fork. I used it to create a ruffle. It's really simple. Just slip it in, flip the fork, hold down the fabric, and then you carefully sew over it. Really easy to do. I did this because I wanted to have a lot more fullness. It'll make everything look a little fluffier. By the way, if you're watching on a mobile device and love upcycles, please do me a favor, screenshot this, post it to an Instagram story, then tag and hashtag me at Danny Walker. And if you try to create your own upcycle like this, tag me in that as well. I needed the ruffles to lay flat a little bit under the arms, so I just stitched down in a couple of places so it would lay flat. This wasn't really noticeable. Now, I wanted to make this into a strapless piece, so very carefully, I had to seam rip the original straps. These straps were sewn very, very well. There was a lot of quality there. So honestly, I was struggling with this portion of it. But once I opened it up, it was really easy to sew down and it was really easy to disguise this. So after that was separated, I just took this to my sewing machine and then sewed right across the original seam. And of course I cut any of the excess thread. After that, the upcycle is pretty much done, but I had a little bit of extra trim. So I decided to make a collar for the dress just as an extra accessory. So I just sewed down the edges to prevent any fraying. I used the fork technique that I showed you earlier to ruffle this collar. And then I took a piece of velvet trim from a different upcycling project and I used that to create the tie. I just sewed it down to the trim to do that. And that's it, the upcycle is finished. Here's the final look. I really like how the neck piece turned out and then I can wear this dress with or without it and that the neck piece can be turned around or flipped upside down and worn multiple ways. So I ended up being really happy with this upcycle. If you enjoyed it or felt inspired from it, then please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and share this episode with your friends. Thanks so much for watching.